it is always good to have a choice we have lot of choice when it comes to large language models in text to text format but we have very little choice for the local tools for vision models in this video i am going to introduce you to open ai vision which is a free open source tool that is api based that enables you to talk with your own images locally freely and privately so in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it you can use this tool on windows mac or any flavor of linux before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable price i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus now having said that if you come back to this open ai vision the best thing about it is that it is simply an api server you install it and then you just start it on your server and then your clients can connect either locally or remotely and then all you need to do is to run the command provide your image and you can start chatting with it and that is what i like about this tool that it is lightweight it does only one thing and does it nicely another cool thing is that it is also compatible with open ai's vision api which enables you to incorporate it in your own programs for example if you are using gpt 4o for vision and you already have built the application and now you want to use these free models without any api calls you can you don't have to change your code that much all you need to do is to point to this server hosted by your own server with the help of open ai vision and by the way when we say vision it simply means that it the model enables you to chat with your images that's all there is to it no api required and your data is not going anywhere it is perfectly offline within your own premises also it supports a lot of models if you go to their github repo and i will drop a link to it in video description you will see that the list of models supported is quite broad it supports intern uh, vl it supports x composer idfx fi vision lavas and then bunny monkey mantis falcon and to mgm and the list goes on and on and the good thing is that they also have provided some of the comments there that where you can do the gpu split where you can't do it if they are having some issues with some of the models so it's all very transparent and open and that is what i really like like about this tool okay enough talk let's go to our local system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 48 gb vram nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mast compute let me clear the screen i will be installing everything in my conda environment so make sure that you have conda installed it will keep everything separate and i highly recommend it and if you don't know how to install it please search my channel so i'm just creating this conda environment with the name of open ai let's wait for it to finish that is done and we have stepped into that code environment let me get clone the repo of open ai vision and okay so it says that's already exists i'm just going to remove it i just want to show you from the start so open ai dash vision oh come on so because i already was testing it earlier that is cool and now let me clone it properly there you go so we have not only cloned it but we have stepped into it and now let me try to install all the requirements just simply do pip install dash r requirements and that installs quite a lot of things so make sure that you just let it run for a minute or so okay so everything is installed let's clear the screen and if i do ls dash ltra here a couple of files are important for example look at this vision.sample.env and then vision-alt.sample.env so make sure that at least you rename this file to vision.env and it is always good idea to also rename it to vision-alt.env and these are the files which specify your models so let me first rename them and then i will show you the env file 
So I'm simply using cp command to move them to vision.env and then let's clear the screen. Let me show you how this vision.env looks like. So all you need to do here is to make sure that you go down and then if you are using any gated model then specify your hugging face token here otherwise no need to worry about anything else and then just uncomment the model of your choice so there are a lot of models here so the list is on their github repo which i showed you earlier so i'm just going to go and uncomment this moon dream 2 with flash attention i'm just going to use this smaller load in 4 bit one so I'm just going to remove this hash sign from here and this is a VI editor I just pressed small x and then let's simply use WQ and then exit from here that is what we needed to do let's clear the screen and don't worry about alt 1 if you are using JAMA 2 model and that sort of stuff only then you need it and that is written in their github repo okay so that is all good now one of the prerequisites you need to have is to have docker installed i have this docker version installed if you don't know how to install docker please search my channel i already have it um, explained in very simple words let's change the permission of docker.socket file so that it will run properly and then simply run docker compose up dash t it is going to download the layers and start it locally so it is pulling all the layers of that images which we are going to use from OpenAI. So let's wait for it to finish. This takes a bit of a time because you can see that one of the layer is quite heavy. And it has created everything here as you can see after download. Let me clear the screen and now in order to check simply run this command Dr. docker ps-a and you can see that it is running in our local host at port 5006. And if you are in a cloud environment where you have a firewall or something where you want to connect it remotely make sure that you open this non-standard port on your firewall and now let me clear the screen and we will talk with our images so let me show you the image which i'm going to use as a sample this is the image i'm going to use as a sample so let's chat with it and for that i'm just running this command python chat with images.py and let's run it let's wait for it there you go so it has returned us the response that this image features a large green leaf with distinct fan like shape how quick and how uh, fast it is and how easy it is to chat with your images with this open di vision so if you want to test your models quickly locally in a very simple way without any frills i think this tool is quite good okay so next up let's try out with a local image which is saved on my local hard disk so for that i'm just going to run this command where i'm instead of giving it the url i'm giving it the path to that image which is 4a.jpg jpg and then let me show you that image too quickly let me put it in the browser and show you so this is the image where there is a rising sun some kangaroos and stuff and now let's see if it is able to run it let me run it here there you go so it says image depicts a serene sunset scene with still hoods of kangaroos and birds against a vibrant orange sky the sun is setting behind a large tree casting a warm glow over the landscape how good is that let's also check another ocr image so this is the ocr the optical character recognition let's see if model can do that or not this is not the model test by the way but just want to show you that this is also possible so i'm just going to change the image name here hopefully this is the image name okay so i don't let's see what is the name of the file hang on so the name of the file was in small case so i have put it in here and there you go so it can't this model cannot do those here but it is just telling me about what exactly it's a photograph of a text document with foreign text written in foreign language the document contains information about a dog specifically a fox that is right so there are some words there but anyway really nice tool small tool to run a vision api server locally with your vision models and i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching